Uh, good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us at the official groundbreaking of the Fort Allen Restoration Project. My name is Troy Moon. I'm the Environmental Programs and Open, Spa Open Space Manager for the City of Portland. Many of us from the city and from the Friends of Eastern Prom have been working on this project for some time, so it's really exciting to be here at the groundbreaking ceremony. And I'm also really pleased that we have many of the leaders in attendance who have been instrumental in bringing this project to, to fruition. We would not be here today without their support and dedication to the process. So I want to give everyone, each and one of them, an opportunity to uh, say a few words about how this project is going to enhance this magnificent park. And so first, I'd like to introduce City Manager Mark Reese. Thank you, Troy. The sun's kind of coming down on me, so I can't see too many people out there. <laughs> um, but first of all, I'd like to recognize uh, Councilor Kevin Donahue, District 1 Councilor, for coming here tonight. A lot of the work that's being done here is under his leadership uh, and uh, uh, as District Councilor. This project represents a unique partnership between the City of Portland and the Friends of Eastern Prom to champion a significant park improvement project at Fort Allen Park. The project development, funding support, and design work all, were all combined to make an outstanding collaboration between the city, the friends, and our consultants. This groundbreaking is a culmination of two and a half years of hard work between the city and the friends of Eastern Prom. Project costs are approximately $1 million and are be funded through a combination of city CIP and CDBG funds. Over the past year, we have appreciated the valuable public input received during the numerous public meetings hosted by the Friends and the Department of Public Services, which has helped immeasurably in the development of the final design for this project. I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank the Friends for raising the funds to hire landscape architects Martha Lyon and Regina Leonard to design the renovations to the park. It will be exciting to see the park restored to a state resembling its original design in 1890 as envisioned by Mayor James Finney Baxter and City Engineer William Goodwin. The new design will make the memorial, including the USS Portland Mast, the 9-11 Memorial, and the Arctic Convoy Memorial, more accessible to visitors, and that the plaza overlooking Casco Bay will be made ha handicapped accessible. Several city staff were involved in supporting this project. I want to recognize key city staff members who have helped bring this project to this point including Mike Babinski, Deb Andrews, Jeff Tarling, Mike Farmer, and Troy Moon. We are all looking forward to working with R.E. Coleman Construction, who has been selected to bring this exciting design to reality. Thank you all for your investment in time and money in support of the Fort Allen Park Rehabilitation Project, truly one of Portland's most beautiful parks and soon to be made even more beautiful. Great, thank you very much, Mark. And next, I'd like to introduce uh, Mike Bobinski, Director of Public Services. Thank you, thank you, Troy. Um, it is a, a great pleasure to be here this afternoon um, on such a beautiful day, and we, I think we, we have uh, Diane Davison to thank for that. Um, and uh, I don't know, the, the weather um, gods are looking out for us today, I think, but I think it's very significant uh, the collaboration that the Department of, of Public Services uh, had been working with uh, the Friends uh, for, it seems like, uh, a, approximately two years, a little over two years, in developing of the plans, specifications, uh, the design consideration. I think we learned a lot along the way, uh, particularly uh, regarding um, relationships between friend groups, uh, volunteer organizations that um, have strong commitment uh, to public space and, and, to, and certainly to the Eastern Prom. Um, we're very pleased to be able to be here. It seems like it's been a long time in coming, but we're very proud of the project, uh, the design efforts that is, is underway, um, that, that went through uh, an extensive review through several neighborhood meetings, historic preservation, as well as the planning board. Um, we're very pleased to be here this afternoon and we look forward to a very successful project with, with Coleman Construction as well as the Friends as, as the project unfolds. Thank you. Great, thanks Mike. And next up I'd like to introduce uh, Diane Davison who is now the Executive Director of the Friends of Eastern Prom.
Thank you, Troy. Well, um, this is truly a monumental day. You know, as everyone has talked about, we've been working on this progress, on this project for just about two and a half years. It's been extensively vetted through Historic Preservation Board, through the Planning Board, through neighborhood outreach meetings and uh, meeting with local stakeholders to arrive at the fabulous design scheme that we now have, um, that we're gonna be breaking ground on here this evening. Um, I think the result of the design that we have is a real success and it was a balance of um, the integrity and the significant history of Fort Allen Park um, and taking into consideration modern day needs like ADA accessibility and better lighting situations um, and just you know considering everything that's going to make that kind of a perfect marriage of history and contemporary use. As everyone knows, you know, this park is really a destination, if not, I'm, I'm a little prejudiced, I think it's the destination for Portland. The cruise ships arrive and people from away come here as their first stop, whether it's by duck boat, horse-drawn carriage, or, you know, bicycle, rollerblading, etc. So, um, I think we are really fortunate to have had this funded. We're grateful to the City of Portland for the Capital Improvement Project money to support this the CDBG money, which is also going to support the Overlook redesign, uh, the Davis Family Foundation that helped us get this project off the ground. And I think truly we're going to turn back the hands of time in terms of how the park is going to look when it all evolves come you know, the spring thaw and summer. So I'd like to ask uh, for patience, respectfully request the patience. I know it's been a really kind of busy area here with the Cutter Street redesign and now Fort Allen's going to be underway. Um, the park is going to be closed, so respectfully request the uh, patience and understanding, and we acknowledge the inconvenience that that might be for some uh, while we undergo for construction, but I feel very confident that when this is unveiled in the spring or early summer, and we ultimately celebrate the bicentennial next October 2014, it's all going to be worth it. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. And finally, I'd like to introduce District 1 Councilor Kevin Donahue. Thank you, Troy, and thank everyone who's, it's really right over here, no doubt about it. Uh, thank you, Troy, and everybody who's spoken uh, before. Uh, City Manager Mark Reese, I appreciated your words on uh, this day. And um, Mike Bobinski, Director of Public Works, certainly appreciate the time and uh, learning that everybody had to go through and getting this project ready to go. Um, some aspects of this project that I'm really happy about that public works has been public service has been very helpful with is integrating this kind of investment in accessibility with a broader accessibility uh, to the eastern promenade um, this is an asset we enjoy as residents and being able to get to it is is so important whether you not be that ambulatory whether um, you be pushing a baby carriage or otherwise and the friends of the eastern prom I thank you so much for highlighting this space in the lives of people in the neighborhood through the concert series, but through the intention, through the in investments, um, and the advocacy that you've all made to this make this uh, place great. I really appreciate it. My daughter really appreciates, as you know, over like the last several years, concerts, um, and I couldn't be happier to see this project getting going, and cannot wait to enjoy it with all of you when it's done. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now we'd like to actually have the official groundbreaking. You see, we have some shovels here. So, if you'd like to inv inv invite uh, City Manager Mark Reese to join us and Regina as a designer, would you please join us as well? I think so. All right. I think I hit the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this the <laughs> so, again, we thank everybody for joining us today, and we look forward to a very successful project. So, stay tuned. We're planning to be wrapped up by June 30th of uh, 2014. So.